welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, I know, don't judge. I need to take a break for my mental health and sanity. <laughs> it's been a crazy couple of year. It's been a crazy year, you guys. Um, but, you know, you gotta, you just gotta work with what you can and this year just proven to kind of like take that to the max of our abilities. Alright, so without further ado, let's just dive into it. And in today's video, I'll be talking about what they don't tell you when it comes to the inbound closing program. You see, they, well, I mean, I'm sure you know because you've seen plenty of ads and if, you, if you've been to my channel in the past, um, I love the program. I think people who made it are amazing, but what I don't like about the program is the things that they don't tell you when it comes to like advertising on, on marketing. Obviously everybody wants to advertise this as like the most amazing thing ever, it's gonna make you a crap load of money um, without you having to work 9 to 5, which is great, um, but the reality is not quite like that. So. Let's just kind of like run down through the reality of things and yeah, so you guys can uh, make a better judgment and at least go into this thinking um, about the whole thing a little bit more accurately than how they advertise it. Right? Sales is not like a happy little like no 9 to 5, you close a couple of deals, you make like a thousand dollars like per day, per week, whatever. It does not work like that. In fact, sales is actually a continuous grind so this nine to five that you know they're advertising against actually becomes more of like a seven to eleven <laughs> if, if you wish and not because you work that much it's you, you, you don't like work as much but you do a lot more personal development and a lot more like self-improvement stuff which takes some time out of your day, let's be realistic, at least one hour in the morning and one in the evening if you want to continuously grow and improve. Uh, but most importantly, it takes actual commitment and putting systems in place that will sort of set you up for success throughout the day, day after day, week after week, month after month, all right? So the nine to five grind is still kind of there, but it's different in a way where some of that time actually goes towards personal development and self-improvement but also commitment to that because the grind is still there and it changes it just changes right so so for people who don't have any sort of like experience in sales um and if you go into the program thinking oh my gosh i'm gonna get the certification and everybody will want to hire me because i paid 97 dollars to get certified in closing like Honey, this is just not gonna happen. Like, let's just be real, it's not gonna happen, right? But if you have zero experience um, and you go in there thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna finish this and then get a job and make a million dollars in my first month, it's just not gonna happen, honey. Unless, no, <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. Let's just be real here. You actually need some real life experience and after you finish the program, you know, great, here's your certificate, maybe you didn't do the certificate, what, whatever dog, I didn't do it, I just did the private coaching, anyway, um, but you're not, like, there's, there's an abundance of sales programs out there and just because you finished one of the sales programs out there doesn't mean that people will want to hire you because what happens after you graduate the program and when you get a job, which is another hustle of its own, but it's not hard, you just go out there and you freaking do it, like, ugh, anyway, that's a whole other story. You go out there, you do it, you get a job, good for you. Um, if it's not a closing gig, which it probably won't be if you don't have any sales experience, if you do and you did the program, go get a job, start closing or getting some experience and then like get into a better company. Um, and just like figure out whatever it is that you want to do and you're gonna be fine, right? But if you don't have, if you don't have that closing experience, what the heck is gonna happen then? Well, well, let me tell you because I've been there and I've done it, alright? So, you get a gig, alright? Great. I was working for at Outreach with Alaric Heck. Great company, lovely people, but the grind is real. So if, if you don't have, if, 
if you get in, no experience in sales, you get in, you start either making like dials into from from like a like a like a webinar list or whatever, or from like an ad list that people clicked on, submitted their information, um, and you give them a call. So the standards for that are at least at least a hundred dials per day. So you know the nine to five is still kind of there, right? Because if you have an auto dialer, easy. You're gonna bust out those hundred dials in like, you know, a couple of hours and then the rest of the time you can do like follow-ups and stuff like that. But it's still like a lot of repetitive grunt work that is important. It is important, all right? So that's like a very important thing to keep in mind. Don't expect to just finish the program and get a job and start closing. No, because you have to go through years of training, if not like months, depending on where the heck you are and who you are and how hard you work, how much time and energy you put in and how smart you work, of course. Um, that's going to depend on how fast you can actually get into the closing gig, but don't expect it to be a couple of months. Or like, yeah, I'm just going to set appointments for like a couple of months and then get into closing. No. No. It's not gonna go like that. So yeah, essentially what's gonna happen if you get hired as an apartment setter, you're gonna be sitting at home in front of a computer making dials until you hit that 100. Sometimes it's 150, sometimes it's 200. It depends, but I wanna say kind of like the industry standard is 100 dials. Uh, but then of course, if you wanna succeed, you don't wanna be average. You wanna go above average, right? So that's gonna be like 150, 200 dials a day. And after that, um, you have to do follow-ups, right? So, and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they teach you how to do it. Yeah, so, I mean, the grind is there, the stress is there because you're trying to hit your KPI, you're trying to make those dollars, you're trying to follow up with people, you're trying to set appointments, and it's freaking hard, brother. Um, especially without any previous training, it's going to be crucial that you have to go through the learning curve of actually setting appointments and doing stuff like that because it's just important to understand the industry. If you don't know the industry and you want to close deals, it's not going to happen. And if it's going to happen, you're probably going to suck. Sorry, just being real here, because it's complicated. It's a lot more complicated than just reading a script to another person or just role playing, because people in real life tell you what, it rarely goes according to the script. If you start, you know, like sucking because you don't know what's going on, and that's normal, okay? Don't judge yourself, don't like beat yourself up because, oh, I don't know what's going on. That's normal, right? Like, if you haven't been in the industry, you don't know what's going on. If you haven't been cooking and you're thrown in a restaurant, you're not gonna be a chef right away. That's a great analogy, all right, you guys? Yeah, if you don't know how to cook, if, you know, you kind of, you can think, right? So you can clean shit, you can like cut some things, you can prep, great for you, but you're not gonna be a chef right away. Just not gonna happen. Unless, you know, you want to be a chef with like McDonald's or something, like, great for you, buddy, but you're not going to make your million out there, you know what I'm saying? Let's just be real again here. Level, level with me, brother. You don't want to work at a McDonald's. I mean, if you're actually smart, you can become a manager pretty fast, but let's not do it. <laughs> We're, this, is, this isn't the McDonald's video, it's just not, alright. Right, so the grind is real, you have to get your reps in, you have to get experience, you have to actually get enough experience that you can talk to people comfortably on the phone, which if you are kind of like socially awkward or if you're not sure what to say, it's going to be hard. You're going to be a little bit confused, you're going to be a little bit scared, and that's, again, that's normal, right? Like, that's, that's what we're here for, you're trying to get experience, it's okay to be nervous and shut up, don't. It's okay to be scared. Shh. What? What do you want, girl? You wanna say hi to the world? Hey guys, it's your girl Roxy. She has a um, an Instagram, so please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys there. But you know, back to the topic. I forgot where I was. <laughs> Great. But yeah, you have to get in the, the reps, the experience, to actually get to the point where you are comfortable with carrying a skilled conversation, asking great questions so you can actually lead the prospect throughout the process, um, whatever it is for you. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what's up. So those are some of the things that they don't tell you when, um, when you're applying, when you're doing, when you see the ad, right? Because obviously they, they want to sell you the thing, which is honestly, 
hundred bucks for what they teach you is amazing, but it's just not as easy as it is, and it gets even harder <laughs> when you actually get a job. But I mean, again, let's level here. People spend thousands of dollars to get a university degree, to get an entry-level job at a, a good place, right? Or a bad place. Whatever. Whatever it is that you're doing, you know? Uh, hopefully a good place. And it, it takes time to get to the top, you know? It takes time to build up. But it takes time and energy to actually get good at what you want to do. And, um, you know, that's kind of like the reality that you don't get when you see the advertisements or when you get into into the grind of things. That being said, it is definitely doable. You just need to invest into yourself. You gotta invest your time into this craft. You gotta be continuously learning and putting systems in place that put you in a successful position mentally, physically. Whatever it is that gets you in the right groove of things. Um, if you're a workaholic, at times it will get overwhelming, but you know, again, that's normal, that's because you are trying to stand out, you're trying to kind of like fast track the whole thing. And again, it's definitely going to help you, but, um, you know, you, like, just like in school, you can't skip, you know, you can't just go into the fifth grade, or you can't just straight go into high school or into university without having the previous steps. So this is kind of like the same thing. If you are trying to fast track some things, there's only so much that you can do and rather than thinking about it as like a fast track think about it as just being a little bit petite ahead of the game petite prepared for the future steps um, so when the right opportunity comes to you you're gonna snatch that like a freaking like a like a berry from a bush snatch that you, you get what I mean um, Right, because, yeah, you, uh, realistically, you can't go into, like, the first grade and then be like, oh, yeah, this is easy, you know what I mean? Let's just jump to the fifth grade, because that's where the real deal is. It just doesn't work like that. You gotta have, you know, like, one, two, three, four. You gotta have the edumacation to get to... I'm recording. Ah, you gotta get the edumacation. Um, yeah. Again, I want to end this on a positive note. All right, guys. Um, and... The best thing that I can like suggest over here is think about the program as like a very entry level into the world of sales and personal development because it's a beautiful place, all right? And if you don't use the program for sales, at least you can use the program to actually set you up for success in whatever whatever it is that you're trying to do in life, you know what I mean? Because they have some really valuable lessons there, let's be real, right? So. Hope this helps you guys. It's been a pleasure. I'm gonna try and bust out another one. There's gonna be, you know, you already know. New videos every sometime, every so often. <laughs>